What is happening everyone? So I know a lot of players are looking for how to obtain the Elder Monster in Tiny Monster. And the Elder Monster is the coolest monster in the game so far. And it generates diamonds. Three diamonds per week, in fact. Anyways, this monster cannot be purchased in the market. And one of the things that, um, I guess to be blunt and to get to the point is that don't bother trying to get the monster. If you're, if you're not a daily player, um, my advice is to give up. There is absolutely no way for you to get the monster if you are not a daily player. Now, if you are a daily player, if you play all the time, then to get this monster, what you need to do is complete all of the quests in Tiny Monsters from Becky. Uh, you go to, into quests and then you have to complete all of the quests from Becky, which is the girl, the red hair girl. And after you complete all of the quests, you're going to need, need a lot of money to complete all that quest too. I mean, not money, coins. Um, the coins, diamonds, maybe, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe you will, maybe you might not. I'm not really sure. But as you go through all the quests, you need to do a lot of things, including uh, harvest certain food, um, buy certain items, and those items are expensive. Uh, personally... I think anyways and you, you you have to breed certain monsters and there are over a hundred quests over a hundred quests I'm not kidding um, I think every time you reach that 23 mark uh, she restarts with a brand new line of quests not the same quest but a brand new line of quests which you have to do another brand new 23 quests and I'm not really sure. Basically, you'll get to the point where you need to buy certain items, like the arcane stone, um, a bunch of other stones you need to buy, like the mystic stone. And then the last items you need to buy is the portal. After you get the um, elder baskin or something, and then you need to buy a portal. And once you get the portal, which is, uh, you need to place beside this circle thing that you just purchased, then you can breed for the elder monster. Anyone that says breed this with this without doing all the qu these quests is a complete joke. I personally, that's what I think because, uh, when you do complete all of these quests, she tells you you can begin breeding for the Elder Monster. Or maybe you have a better chance. I don't quite remember. But I'm pretty sure that there was probably no opportunity for me to get the Elder Monster without doing any of these quests. So you have to do all of these quests. There are over a hundred quests. It might take months. It might, um, you know, it might take months. I was going to say years, but you know, that, that's a bit harsh. But, it's probably going to take months if you don't play daily. Even if you do play daily, it might take months. Um, but this monster is pretty cool. It is one of the coolest monsters in the game. I'd say it looks really cool. It looks amazing. Once you get one of these creatures, or once you finish all the quests, you can get unlimited amount of Elder Monsters. So that's really cool to have. And don't forget the habitat. Is about a million coins. Now you also have to buy a bunch of other decorations, like 10 air decorations. I remember doing that. And if you're stuck on any quest, let me know because um, she has a book. Basically, you need to read the book. Or not the book. She has like a 
she has a notebook or drawing, four drawings anyways, and sometimes she doesn't exactly tell you what you need to do, which is completely, you know, confusing. And there are sometimes you need to get mythic monsters. Even if you have already a mythic monster that she's looking for, like the mythic air monster, you still need to breed another one. So, uh, anyone telling you you don't need to do these quests, I don't know what they're thinking or what they're saying. It doesn't make sense because there was literally 0% for me to get the elder monster. It took me about five tries after, right after, um, right after I got the portal after I finished the quest. And then she said to me that, well, she didn't say to me. She wrote in the notes that you can start breeding for the elder monster, which just worked for almost immediately. Not immediately, but almost. Anyways, assuming that um, breeding for the elder monster, you can use basically two creatures with basically just two different elements, I think. Or not different elements. They can be the same too. Because I use the frozen blaze monster and the bug monster. I'm assuming you can use any monster. Because after you do the quest, that's all that's really required. Anyways, if you have gotten the elder monster without doing the quest, comment below. Let me know. Show, uh, make some videos on it. And, you know, because I really want to see that. This quest literally is difficult I think in my opinion anyways so that is all and this is the elder monster if you haven't checked it out there's a rainbow type of habitat and I don't know water that is about it and you can upgrade it for 7 million coins but oh wow so the maximum diamonds that can be held by the Elder Habitat is 4. So that is about it. Anyways, I hope that that has helped you. Um, I know it's kind of discouraging. But, you know, I don't want to get your hopes up just telling you to breed this combination and this combination. And kind of not get it after 8 years. Hopefully you don't play for 8 years. But, yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope this has helped you. I know it's a pretty disappointing video, actually. To me, it is, too. Usually, um, you know, if I get the combination, everybody, you know, there's always a good feeling where you're sharing with other people. But now, even if I tell you what combination you need to use, it doesn't really matter. You won't get the Elder Monster without doing the quest. Anyways, that's about it. Thank you for watching and good luck on your adventure in Tiny Monsters. I'll see you in the next video. See ya.